Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having an amazing day and welcome to the full episode of my digital productivity series and what I believe will be the most important episode. Today we're talking about digital note taking and having a personal knowledge management system, also known as building a second brain, which is essentially capturing, writing, organizing knowledge into digital notes. I came across this concept several months ago and have continued to learn about it and implement it into my life since, and it's really had an impact and believe it will have a real big impact for many years to come. If you want to skip around at the video, you can, the timestamps will be down below, but I recommend that you watch all the video to get a good understanding of what I'm talking about. I believe it will have a real impact for you. A message from Tiago Forte. Tiago Forte is one of these people that talks a lot about productivity and is a quote expert in what he's talking about and has done, written extensively on this topic. But I'm going to read something that he said in one of his articles that really resonated me and completely sold me on the idea of building a second brain. Okay. How many brilliant ideas have you had and forgotten? How many insights have you failed to take action on? How much useful advice have you slowly forgotten as the years have passed? We feel a constant pressure to be learning, improving ourselves and making progress. We spend countless hours every year reading, listening and watching informational content. And yet, where has all that valuable knowledge gone? Where is it when we need it? Our brain can only store a few thoughts at one time. Our brain is for having ideas, not storing them. Building a second brain is a methodology for saving and systematically reminding us of the ideas, inspirations, insights and connections we've gained through our experience. It expands our memory and our intellect using the modern tools of technology and networks. When I read this, I was totally sold on the idea of building a second brain and went straight into learning and developing my own. Now I'm going to show you Notion. This is what I use for my digital note taking. Let's dive straight into it. So we're now in Notion. I'm going to be showing you my personal knowledge management system, how I take my digital notes. Let's dive straight into it. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you different parts and how I make my own notes for different things and how that leads to developing and building our own personal knowledge management system. So Something I'm just going to start with here is like my filmmaking notes. So when you're learning about something, so such as when I'm learning about filmmaking, I don't want to just watch content about it and then, or read content about it and then not make notes on it because as having easy access to notes, you can just go back to it and then work on it. This is like the learning part and building your own knowledge. So when I'm like an edit or something, it's be really helpful. Now for the school side of things, I did not take my notes using Notion. I took my notes using Google Docs and I just made links in Notion so I could just click on this here and I can open my notes which I do in Google Docs because I prefer notes in Google Docs when I was making them I didn't want to move them over because I was able to share with people and just like it makes it more a lot of useful because I have a quite a lot in Google Drive and that links really well so for the notes I was making for school I left them in Google Docs but made a link in Notion so everything was easily accessible. Something that Tiago Forte talks about is to keep what resonates with you and this is something called my resonance calendar and that name is just stolen from Ali Abdul, great YouTuber, you can check him out, the link will be down below. So yeah, he built something called a resonance calendar as where you, you watch something, something resonates with you and then you film your own ideas from it. I was like, oh, that's cool. So then I'll just do that the same for the things that I'm consuming and the content I'm watching. So by listening to podcasts, for example, I formed my own ideas about YouTube videos and content that I want to create. And having this calendar where I can just change the view as well, I can see like a calendar view of different things I've seen when, and that is really useful. Also, if we look on the side here, we can see I have um, different parts of my notion. So inbox is where I just put things in which I haven't organized yet. So what happened throughout the day. So on my phone, I can just make, um, just chuck things in my inbox instead of having to go directly into the exact place that I have an idea for or some notes I want to make on. So if I had like a YouTube idea, instead of going all the way into YouTube and I couldn't have access to my laptop on my phone, I just chuck it into the inbox and then add it in later when I, I have more time to go into it. So I also use um, Notion as a way of organizing all my YouTube videos and the content I'm creating. So we can see here from my YouTube videos of the different like ideas, the ones that I've planned, the ones that I've filmed, the ones I've published. And this is just a way of organizing all the videos I'm creating. So I can open one up, for example, and I can see the plan that I've created for the video. Here's my script, for example, and I just do that. And this is a really good way to organize content creation. I do the same for my email newsletter. That um, link will be down below, but that's the newsletter I, I write them on here 
as it's my note taking system and then I just copy it into the service that I use to send out my newsletter. So that is Notion. Um, that is my application of choice for making digital notes. As I said, I have used combination with Google Drive and I probably will continue to use that combination for now, but that's all for Notion. Let's get on to some other recommendations that I would recommend for digital note taking. Other applications that you could use for your digital notes include the likes of Evernote, which is really good. I did use that for quite a while last year, but then I switched over to using primarily Google Drive and then Google Drive plus Notion. You also have Google Keep, which is really simplistic. You can try that out. There's an application called Bear, which is only for Apple computers, so iOS and OS X. You can try that out. There's the Apple Notes. Um, you could just use Google Docs if you wanted to. Instead of consuming all the content that is in front of you, you should be more selective and objective with what you are consuming. When you are consuming content, you should capture what resonates with you. And this will be hard to initially come to at first. And you might just seem like you're taking notes on something only. But once you start to develop and you get more used to this, you start to find out what resonates with you, meaning developing your own ideas and insights from what you are consuming. An important part of making notes is to curate them for your future self which could mean by defining key terms or leaving links to things that you may have watched such as videos or blogs that you've read. And this becomes really useful when you come back to searching for them or looking for them because you're using simpler terms that your future self will hopefully know. At the end of the day, all of these notes are just information if you do not put them to use. So the notes that you're taking, the things you're learning about, you need to put them and implement them into your life however you want to implement them. And what you're writing, the notes you're creating is gonna be on based on what you're interested in. And it's going to be little purpose if you do not create anything with it. It could be anything that you wanted. If you enjoy talking about basketball, you could make a basketball blog. You could smurf it up, just like Gary Vee said. You, you need to care about everything. And it starts with yourself. Look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, what do I want to do every day for the rest of my life? Do that. I promise you can monetize that shit. If you love ALF, do an ALF blog. You collect smurfs, smurf it up. Whatever you need to do, do it. Can create what you want but not creating anything shows little purpose so curate and share your work with the world thanks a lot for watching if you can follow my photography work and other video work on instagram you can sign up to my weekly email newsletter down below and on the screen right now you'll see the playlist of my digital productivity series you can check up the other videos there thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you guys very soon